Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB. You are not and today we are going to be using a special soap. Um, it was made by Katie's Bubbles called Orange and Huge. And this by the way was not an endorsement of uh, President Trump by Katie's Bubbles. It was kind of a joke gag thing because of in the razor and brush Facebook group. We sort of had a group uh, chat during the some of the debates. And as a result, uh, Zach Plavridis, um, you know, he was happy that people were able to conduct themselves with some civility during the debate. So he sort of, I think if memory, why am I going with my head? This is a face shave. Anyway, let's take that off. Anyhow, he, um, I believe if memory serves, had that so commissioned and sent it to everybody who participated in that, um, uh, live stream sort of commentary during the uh, debate, which is a really nice uh, gesture. And again, not of not an endorsement of Trump in any way. It was just, uh, hey, you guys participated. You know, we appreciated your um, con contribution to the group. And uh, here's a soap, you know, to thank you. And so he's done a lot of things like that over the years, Mister. Zach. So anyway, it's good soap. It's orange, obviously. And uh, of course, it's Katie's bubble, so it's good quality. And let me say uh, at the onset, you know, I always hope that all of our presidents are successful, meaning, you know, economically and, and keeping the peace. There are certain policies uh, that I might not agree with that I hope you know, I don't wish for success on things that I think are against my interest. But generally speaking, and by the way, we're using the Raw Shaving RS10, which is up for giveaway. See the video yesterday on details on how to use this or how to win potentially this guy. Anyway, um, I do generally speaking, hope the president is successful and keep us safe and we have prosperity and all the rest, regardless of whether I agree with the politics of the particular president. Uh, I felt the same way under Obama or Clinton or Bush or, you know, Reagan or whomever. Some I agree with more than others. And Trump is no exception. I agree with some of his policies. I don't agree with others. And I certainly can't say that I agree with the way he conducts himself uh, on some issues. And I think he adds uh, a lot of problems sometimes where there shouldn't be any, but also, I must say that I notice the media tends to bludgeon him more so for things that other presidents have also done. For example, President Obama threw people out of conferences. You can Google it and see it. President Obama talked about immigration and, and not wanting people to cut to the front of the line, but he didn't hear the media saying anything about that. However, he did, in fact, do that. And you can find, that's the great thing about the digital age in which we live. We can go back and find where President Obama said similar things. Now, granted, more eloquent than Trump, more nuanced, perhaps. But essentially the same thing. We can't have people cut to the front of the line, all this sort of stuff. Anyway, you, you can find all of that stuff if you look. And the people did not, you know say President Obama was anti-immigration at the time. And so, you know, sometimes people just sort of, it seems they're not, they're not as uh, really committed to the issue as they're committed to a particular candidate or party. If they like them, they'll pretty much go along with anything. And if they don't, uh, they nothing is acceptable, you know? And so that's what I found to be the case. Uh, I tend to be more of an issue person. I want certain things accomplished. And, you know, if the candidate does that, then I'm happy about it. And if they don't, I'm not. And here we go with pass number two. Let's talk a little bit about the razor here, which is stainless steel. Good shaver. I really like this uh, more aggressive plate again. I don't know what the, uh, the blade gap is on it. And you can go to raw shaving and check that out. What blade plate, uh, you know, what the 
blade gap and all that kind of stuff is. I'm not really here to recite it to you. I'm just here to use it and you can see it and maybe win it if you watch that video from yesterday and enter. I will certainly draw for it and we thank uh, Avi at Raw Shaving for allowing me to do so. I did, by the way, get that vector sent out to David Munoz, uh, which I said I would do. It just took me a while. just been busy and it's the holiday season and I'm just trying to do a a lot of things and of course I've had you know major upheaval and life change uh, this year so there's all sorts of adjusting and work changes and personal changes and you know just juggling a lot of stuff but uh, I feel I've done a pretty decent job of it or at least to the best of my ability and I hope those around me you know notice it as well uh, it's not easy sometimes, uh, but, you know, we press forward and move on. I have to say one of the things that I've been most um, sort of disconnected from, I used to really like working out in the yard, and as much as I hated that bamboo, I kind of miss working and battling that uh, bamboo. So now the only thing I have left from that house is the soap that Chris Cullen also made called charcoal, I think it was CDB, charcoal bamboo despair, or something like that, that, that Zach also had made. And he actually ground up some bamboo and put in that soap, because I sent it to him from the backyard. But anyway, I think, you know, I certainly miss the old neighborhood in which I lived. Um, but apart from that, I think I'm, you know, pretty well on track. I live a little further out you know, from my workplace that I used to, so that's not ideal, but uh, we'll see what the new year brings and I'll maybe look for a, another place or something. A little closer, a little more to my liking and uh, we'll see how that goes because when I, uh, when I re relocated, I really had to, had to be pretty quick about it. So I didn't really get my you know, I didn't get to do a lot of looking. However, that said, um, I'm grateful for the help I received from folks uh, helping me get settled and so forth. And I really appreciate that. And, you know, for the viewers watching and just for their moral support and all the rest. So I, I would say uh, 2018, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it's coming to an end because it was a rough year, but it was also a great year in a lot of ways too. So it was, it was both up and down. It had its ups and downs, but we're ending on an up. And so that's the most important thing, you know, reconnecting from, uh, in fact, um, just, just October was 30 years that I have uh, known my wife. Uh, I first dated her in uh, October of 1988 or 87, so I'm forgetting the dates, forgive me. But anyway, 30 years, maybe more. Might have even been 87, 88, I wanna say. But, uh, and so, and her family, because I met her family at the time, it's been a lot of time over there. So that, that has certainly been a blessing and I'm most appreciative and that certainly ends things on a high note for 2018. Uh, but it, it wasn't always high, as you know. If you watch some of the videos from maybe March or April, it, it was a downer. But, you know, we bounce back, we press on. And folks, let me tell you something. Don't ever allow people to have so much power over you that you're devastated. I mean, you have to pick, pick yourself back up. Keep moving. It's what I uh, try to do. Your life isn't over when things happen. You just keep plugging and uh, never quit. I don't know that's rather cliche, but it's absolutely true. I'm just sort of touching up as I'm flapping because I'm almost finished here. By the way, good residual slickness on the soap, as you can see, and I'm not trying to get the greatest shave of all time on. Just want to get it so-so so I can go out. I got to do a little uh, shopping, pick up some lunch perhaps, and uh, I'm not going to go to a whole post routine for you because I want to make this quick. We'll of course be using the Thayers. We'll follow up with a little Son of Zeus. Again, I want to quickly mention um, Raw Shaving RS10 up for giveaway. See the video yesterday. 
We use the orange and huge, courtesy of Zach Plavridis of Razor and Brush. Uh, really nice soap, regardless of how you feel about Trump. I really appreciate that, and I will always hold on to it. It means something to me. And we used our, our uh, Timeless Bow, which is fantastic, and our uh, Razor Rock 400. Excellent, excellent brush. One of my absolute favorites. Thank you, everybody, uh, for joining us once again. Until next time, I'm, I have been your host, CDB. I'm tongue twisted on that. Oh, well, what are you going to do? You're not. Hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And happy Veterans Day. I almost forgot. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Thank you uh, for your service. Much appreciated. God bless.